We'd always said all last year if we ever have a breakage and it's major we're gonna we're gonna go to an aluminium block. The original engine designed for 5,500, we're revving it to 8,600 RPM. So that, that's a huge amount for a for a, a, a like a big block Chevy push rod engine. That's a lot of RPM. <laughs> to perfection. This is why 350 hours worth of building is the reason for it. The valve train on a big block Chevy, if it's not perfect, it won't rev. So we, we kept it to 8,600 RPM all year and then on the last meeting we had an issue that I didn't think was anything to do with the trans. I thought it was the converter was working differently because we were launching in first gear. So I upped the rev limit to not to from 86 to 9,000 the rev limit allows it to go over 9,000 a little bit, and that's what did it. It's not meant to rev to 9,000, <laughs> so it was a mistake that we made, or I particularly made, by raising the rev limit. And now we, that's a learning curve, so we know we we cannot go over the 8,600 limit. And the limiter, the limiter we've got, will never go over 8,600. But it's a water block, so it's a street. It's still a street type block. But it's just a lot lighter, very, very strong, um, and it was what we were looking for. It's something we wanted something that would re repair easier than an iron block, and this repair will repair a lot easier than an iron block. So that was a good choice. But it's not a full on billet race block because we wanted the water jackets to be able to drive, still drive on the street. Took a long time to get the pieces together because they're expensive, and it took me a while to get the funds to get them. Um, but yeah, we got them, got it to Marks, and then he started the lengthy process of building a, a from scratch engine. So it's like 35 days it took him, at 10 hours a day, and he was wor he was working huge. Unbelievably long hours. It was like getting up and starting at half eight, not finishing till one o'clock in the morning on some days. And he, 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 he really, really worked hard for us to get it back this quick. So it, down to him that we can actually get it to John's and, and and kind of at least have four weeks before we due to go out. Yeah, well, the engine went in pretty easy, in fairness, it's just, we thought we were going to have all sorts of problems. It was like whether the block was going to be the same length as the old block, um, and we wouldn't have known, we didn't know until it sat in the bed, really went in really easy. <coughs> no, no dramas, no anything, it just pretty much fell in the end, fell in the engine bay and sat in its mountains. It is like it was meant to be there, isn't it? <laughs> Six months later, <laughs> So it just slotted right in? Yeah, unbelievably. It's actually dimensionally exactly what they told us it was, same as a same as a dark block, so yeah, no, that was, uh, Imagine that, an engine oh, sitting in the frame. <laughs> It was a good starting point, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I tried the starter and it does fit. Yeah. I actually <laughs> sat it in the thing and put the bolts on just to make sure it sat on that bonus. Yeah. There's a bonus. We've got a spare as well. Did you get 
going to this one. So T Tony's been with us with the top methanol, but he's been with me with Red Victor One, Red Victor Two, and now Red Victor Three, and he's the crew chief, and he's he's my eyes and ears outside the car, so you don't trust him completely. Been a friend of mine since like 1990, 1989. Had some races together, not race championship races, just run what you run races, and we got to know each other and kind of friendship went from then and I've been friends with him ever since. He's a good guy and Art, he's a good guy, he eats everything and eats for all of us and he's a man mountain but he's a real clever guy and, and but yeah he's, he's he, Arthur's an asset to us, I mean firstly he can barbecue which, <laughs> which is his, the most important thing. <laughs> The team is about having a good time. It's seri deadly serious when we're racing, deadly serious when we're on the car, but outside of that, we have fun.